He was born in 1914. He attended more Sable High football games than any other known fan. Woodhull Hubbard, born at 89 Main Street in Sable in 1914, to George Henry Hubbard and Lucretia Rayner. George's dad suffered a severe hand injury at work. He never seemed to recover, and the marriage drifted apart. Fortunately, Lucretia was the daughter of Woodhull N. Rayner. The Rayner family started their undertaker and marble business in 1895. The family can trace their American ancestry back to about 1645. Thurston Rayner arrived from Elmset, Suffolk, England. Woodhull Hubbard's grandfather, Woodhull Rayner, was a former town postmaster and chief of the fire department. Woodhull Rayner ran successful butcher, lumber, and undertaking businesses, ultimately turning all his business pursuits towards the undertaker business. Woodhull Hubbard was known by many names, Doodle and Woody mostly. Woody's mom, Lucretia, became the sole parent by 1920 as Woody entered school. The family lived with his mom's dad, Woodhull Rayner. By 1930, Lucretia had taken a job as a secretary in Sable Schools. Woody and his brother George grew up in a large extended family, including his grandparents and aunts. Woody attended Sable Schools and entered high school in 1928. Woody throughout school was a talented student and athlete. He played football, basketball, and tennis. He also wrote a sports column for the Suffolk Citizen, an old Sable paper starting in 1932. After high school, Woody attended Randolph-Macon College in Virginia. Woody eventually became a valued track, basketball, and tennis player for the college. He was his class's vice president. He was a member of many college clubs and a sports writer on the school paper. In 1939, he graduated from college. Returning to Sable, he took a job at the U.S. Post Office in Sable. It was not long before the war began, Woody enlisted in the Army. He saw action in Africa, Italy, France, and Germany. His recollections of the time were filled with death and destruction. It was not a happy time for Woody. Woody was a platoon leader in the United States First Army. He received a variety of theater ribbons and a good conduct medal as a rifleman. He returned home to Sable after five years of service. Woody started writing a sports column for the Suffolk County News with Buck McKenzie in 1947. He took a full-time job with Eastern Federal. Woody met Ann Shakespeare, a fellow Sable graduate. They married in 1950. Eventually, they had three children. By 1967, Woody became a high school teacher with Sachin Schools. He lasted until 1978, saying in a news article, quote, the kids were too bad and had no respect. I was glad to get out of there, unquote. From 1947 till about 2004, 
Woody wrote the sports column in the Suffolk County News. He probably attended more Sable contests than any man alive. He watched countless practices and games. He interviewed many players and coaches. Some loved his weekly reports, the Sports View, others hoped for more. But whatever you thought, Woody was a dedicated sports writer who made Sable Sports his life's passion. Woody passed in 2009 at the age of 95. A life full of tradition, service, and sports, certainly a life well lived. Woodhull Hubbard, one of Sable's institutions.